Hello everybody, maybe you remember one of my earlier videos where I explained to you how to cast small parts using liquid resin. And mm, well, you can forget it right away because I have discovered a new, easier and cheaper way how to do it. These miniatures are made from common epoxy party and they are almost identical to original plastic miniatures. The whole process, including making molds, casting and miniatures assembled, took me less than 4 hours. Ok, so that is really super cool, just 4 hours? When I used to use transparent industrial silicon and liquid epoxy resin, it could have taken even one week until they are solidified properly. Another great thing is the cost. This nice miniature of the Tyranny Warrior has cost me just about 1 euro. I used the original plastic spare parts to make the arms, but the rest is made by myself. It is made possible by a revolutionary thermal plastic molding material called Blue Stuff. It is produced by Green Stuff World Company. The Blue Stuff is basically a small rubber-like stick, which can be reduced to moldable conditions by immersion in hot water during 3 minutes. I like to think about it as a partner of Green Stuff. Only that it's a blue instead of a green, and is for making molds instead of sculpting. The best thing is that it is reusable. It can be simply reheated, and thus you can use it over and over again. I have recently ordered few products from Green Stuff World eShop, and Blue Stuff was one of them. I've got a package of 8 bars for 10 euros. The bars are blue, slightly transparent and do quite firm and resilient. And now let's see how to make the molds. It's quite simple. You can use the whole bars as they are, but I rather cut them to smaller pieces since it's there easy to heat them properly. First I put some water into electric kettle and put it on to boil. Then I pour water into the mug and I add the blue stuff cubes. Be careful since water is boiling hot. The cubes become soft within one minute and I can start with molding. I take a piece of the blue stuff and I put it on the plastic cutting board. Then I simply press the plastic part into the blue stuff. Since I'm going to make a two part mold, I press it only to its half. Good idea is to make small cavities with a small stick in the first half of the mold. So the second half will have a small pins, which will ensure the correct position of the both halves. And do the same thing with another plastic part. The blue stuff is in moldable conditions for one minute and afterwards it solidifies in another five minutes. That is really quick.
Now, when the bottom side of the mold is solid, I push there another piece of the blue stuff to create the top one. But wait! It's going to be possible to separate both halves when the blue stuff solidifies? Don't worry, that is another beautiful characteristic of a blue stuff. You don't need any special separator varnish and you don't need to cut the molds either. Both halves can be easily separated when they are become solid. In meantime, while of my molds is solidifying, I try to stick the blue stuff to various materials, but it simply doesn't stick to anything. I have tried food, ceramics, metal, even expensive resin accessories. For illustrative purposes, I have here a thin miniature. I'm going to make a two bar molds and I make the cast in one piece. The molds are solid after five minutes. I can separate them and start making duplicates. Since the blue stuff is partially transparent, we can easily check if mold is well made. And on the top of that, I like showing it on the camera because it looks very cool too. Very well, when molds are ready, let's going to fill them. I recommend to forget using liquid resins or some other liquid stuff. We are left with several options. You can use green stuff, millipot, scalping clay or another kind of epoxy party. I recommend using two part epoxy party. It's very solid, it is easy mixed by hand, it can be drilled, filled and scented. It takes about 3 hours until it solidifies. In my country, I usually buy Epo Party made by Alteco company. It contains 50 grams of resin and another 50 grams of hardener. The cost of one package is about 5 euros. I tear off some size piece from both parts and mix them together properly. This small piece of patty is going to be sufficient for the whole miniature. Now comes the most difficult part of the entire procedure. I have to push the party inside cavities in the molds. It is sufficient to press it a little with your finger and it should fill the mold nicely. Otherwise you can help it with a toothpick. I make use of the blue stuff transparency and visually check uh, that all cavities are properly filled with party. I do the same thing with the second half of the mold. Now I push both halves together. If they are filled properly, they are stick together. There is another great advantage of epoxy party over green stuff. 
my tin man. Again, I can easily separate both halves and take out the original miniature. The next step are quite the same as the ones I have already shown you. Is another example of a one part mold. Sometimes it is not necessary to make two part molds, but the decision is always yours. After three hours, it's finally ready. Let's see if there is peril inside this oyster. It takes it out quite easily. It doesn't stick nor breaks. Well, it is look really good. There is no air bubbles in container with casting with liquid resin. There is no bad smell and no dirty equipment. And all of this just in 4 hours. It is absolutely great. The excess protrusion can be easily cut off with blade and send it with sandpaper. getting to the end of this tutorial. One more thing before the conclusion. Actually, it is probably the best thing at all. If you do not need the molds anymore, you can simply put the blue stuff into the hot water and use it again. It is fully reusable and that makes the blue stuff absolutely great thing. Thus, you can duplicate almost anything for very low cost. I tried to find some disadvantage about using blue stuff, but I didn't find any. I'm really excited about it and I can only speak well of it. It is simply a great product. Here are my brother Martin's Dev Company Space Marines miniatures. Except arms and backpacks, power units, they are completely cast from epoxy party using blue stuff. Can you distinguish them from original miniatures? And that is all. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you at the next video.